Good evening. Thank you for joining us again on this Sunday. Republican Senator Jeff Flake proved flaky yet again. Well, tonight on 60 Minutes, he was asked if he would have done all of that had he actually been up for re-election. Take a listen. Not a chance. Not a chance. No. It's a little more loudly than just on Twitter. You will remember now, Graham went off on Democrats during last Thursday's hearing. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. Steen has long been rumored to be on the hot seat because he oversees the Russia probe and the president has not been happy particularly with how that's been going. But really the source of all this contention was a recent New York Times report that claimed Rosenstein suggested secretly recording the president and invoking the 25th Amendment to remove him from office. Well, another topic on the Sunday morning talk shows was the dwindling number of White House press briefings over the last few months. And you a great Democratic strategist and commentator coming on to talk more about what this week means for Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Stay with us. His name is Joel Payne. He's a good friend of the show and a Democratic commentator and strategist. Uh, Joel, thank you activities before we get back to Joel. We're just having some technical difficulties. Uh, first of all, this was initiated by Jeff Flake, as we were mentioning earlier in the show, said he would take the company private at $420 a share, well above the company's stock price at the time. So finally, we have Joel Payne, who's joining us now. Um, a, li a little bit of difficulties, but you stayed with us. They Thanks. can't keep us apart, Britt. <laughs> they cannot. How you doing? Good to be with you. I'm good. So, and I just want to kind of press you or ask more what is the likelihood that you mentioned Susan Collins and Murkowski that they didn't have the full GOP vote is there any way that as much as Republicans are angry with Jeff Flake is meant to say leaning towards not support uh, supporting Judge Kavanaugh because of all the questions one other thing Britain I'm sure we'll get to this mm -hmm. it's not just the fact that Judge Kavanaugh has all these questions about his behavior in the past let's look at actually how he reacted on the spot there on Friday in action when pressed particularly by female members on that panel people like Diane Feinstein Amy Klobuchar he cracked he says thank you thank for you. joining us and sticking through everything all yeah. right we'll see you later Later. Okay. And we will see you next Sunday. Uh, it was a pleasure having you for tonight. Uh, and we'll see what happens if Judge Brett Kavanaugh gets nominated. See you next Sunday.